If I ask myself, like, Chantelle, who are you? Where I seem to lean most comfortably is by saying I'm an artist. Because that seems to be the, the broadest scope, the, the biggest box. I didn't know I was an artist and probably until a few years after moving to New York. And that's because unlike today where, you know, everyone quite happily calls themselves an artist, when I was growing up, it felt like something that you had to work towards. It felt like something that you had to gain. And so probably five, six, seven, eight years into my art career, I didn't call myself an artist because I didn't feel like I deserved it. I drew as a child. You know, we all draw as children. I never knew it was art because I didn't have artists around me. I didn't have museums around me. So I didn't know it was art. This idea of thinking back at art school and my teacher saying, well, Chantel, don't apply for art school because you won't get in. There's these limitations there. And that's a lot of us where we're growing up in these kind of environments, either it's a working class environment or something like that. No one is imagining a future for you because they don't care. You know, they just imagine that you're going to be a part of this cycle of you don't finish school, you drop out, you get pregnant very young, you get a council apartment, and that's it. Maybe you end up working in McDonald's or KFC or something like that. If you're lucky, maybe not. You know, why should they imagine something for you? Because they haven't done it for the last few generations. It takes some of us to imagine these futures for ourselves, to be defiant enough for ourselves to want to climb over these hurdles, to want to see things that are not shown to us. I wish at that time when I was writing and drawing and kind of feeling helpless and didn't imagine that I would ever be an artist, I wish I knew that this would be my future. I wish I knew I'd have a future where a pen enabled me to travel around the world and meet really amazing people and work on really amazing collaborations. But then maybe if I knew I wouldn't have worked as hard or I wouldn't have just pushed forward or I wouldn't have gone through the challenges and the struggles that I did at that point, because there's really important lessons that you learn about yourself. When you come out on the other side of that, you have a, a distinct confidence within yourself. You have a distinct knowingness about yourself. You know, I will never be Chantel growing up where I grew up without a gift, because I found my gift and I grew up and I got out.